Hi there, Mike Brady with Generosity Wealth Management, a comprehensive full-service financial services firm headquartered here in Boulder, Colorado. Recording this on uh, Tuesday afternoon, March 30th, and the unmanaged stock market indexes have basically reached all-time highs uh, within the last month or so, um, which is not the situation that we saw ourselves in 12 months ago. Let's think back to where we were in March of 2020. Um, the market had just absolutely cratered. Um, some of the worst days ever as a percentage loss. I and mean, we're talking plus or minus 10% in one day in the unmanaged stock market indexes. Do you remember how the, the, the Dow went all the way down to about 18,000? Um, right now it's over 33,000. Okay, it had gone down from about 29 or 30 all the way down to 18. I'm going to put a, a chart up on the screen. Um, at that point, nobody was saying, oh, yeah, this is great. This is wonderful. No, there was a lot of pessimism. And one of my core beliefs is that powerful emotions drive irrational thinking. Powerful emotions drive irrational thinking in all areas of our lives. I mean, I'm continually surprised when people my age or older, people who have some, uh, you know, some gray in their hair, um, still allow themselves to be whipsawed around by their external you know, news or other people, that they allow what the person on the TV or they read in the newspaper or the confirmation bias, the people that they talk to have a tendency to get them all worked up so that to elicit a powerful emotion. And it's my belief that that leads to a very irrational thinking. 12 months ago, we had an awful lot of irrational thinking. There is no way um, that I thought at that point that we would be where we are today, that the recovery would be all the way back to where we, you know, where we are now and then some. But I felt strong that there was going to be a recovery. I just thought it was going to take a lot longer. And there are reasons for that that are very complicated. But when you look back 12 months ago, the people who made the worst decisions are those that were not in control of their emotions or those that listened to, you know, that guy on TV or the absolute negativity. There, there's a confirmation bias, a negativity, um, pessimism bias that many people have, which is you're actually looking for negative things to, to confirm that everything is just all messed up. And that, uh, you know, Armageddon is right around the corner, which, of course, it was not then and it never turned into that as well. Duration and your time horizon are absolutely essential. I have said this pretty much every single video for the last 12 or 13 years because I feel so strongly about that. This past quarter has been positive for the unmanaged stock market indexes, which is wonderful. Continuing a trend that started about 12 months ago, that recovery just continued on into 2021. In general, the unmanaged uh, bond indexes are about break even, maybe even a little bit negative, um, but that's, that happens sometimes, okay? We always have to take our investments as a long-term um, into long-term consideration. You might say to yourself, yeah, but I'm 80 or I'm 85. Well, okay, your life expectancy is shorter than somebody who is 30 or 40 or 50. But you also have to think uh, and ask yourself, am I investing this for just my own use or is my time horizon for the people who might inherit it? And so maybe the time horizon is longer than what you think. If you're just about to retire, you're mid-60s, Perhaps you're married. There's a 50% probability that one of you will still be living by age 90. So your time horizon is still many five and 10 year time horizons. You know, one of the things that I'm just gonna kind of quickly look here is um, we also have to remember to properly assess our skills. There's this concept called the, the Dunning-Kruger effect where basically like, a, remember um, Garrison Keillor? Uh, he would always say, uh, you know, where all the children are above average. Well, 
we always have a tendency to think that we make the right decisions that, oh, 12 months ago, oh yeah, I, I just had a sense that the market was going to come back and very quickly. So I, I just had a sense that, that was going to happen, which is um, very self-serving, um, a little bit of hindsight bias, um, not quite remembering the way things um, you know played out. We have to avoid that and keep the long term into consideration. I'm going to put a chart up on the screen. You're going to see the one, the five, the 10, and the 20 years, which is those three bars for each of those time horizons going all the way back to 1950. So that's 71 years of an unmanaged stock market index, an unmanaged bond index, and then a mixture of the two. When you look out at the 10 and the 20 year, which is what I believe that you should, you can see that they're all positive. There's never been, actually, even when we look at the five, a five, 10 or 20 year time horizon, where a mixture of bonds and stocks haven't at least broke even or made a little bit of money. When we let our emotions control our decisions, all of a sudden we're stuck on that short term time horizon, which is that far left, which is the one year or maybe even shorter than that in quarterly, month, or even week. I can tell how long people have had an experience in investing, many times I can tell, by just the way they talk with me. If something happens and they're totally casual about it, yeah, they probably have some experience. Or they understand that maybe they're hiring someone like me who has the experience of over 30 years to be cool as cucumbers when something un, you know, unforeseeable um, has happened of, of a big nature. You know what? We've kind of seen it all in different variations, sometimes more dramatic like we had last year. But these disruptions to the system have always happened and always will. And so, but what we can control is our reaction to them. Mike Brady, Generosity Wealth Management, um, I uh, will have all the statements out in a week or so uh, for all my clients. Uh, I, I provide a statement, a nice comprehensive statement at the end of every quarter. Um, so you can kind of see where things are going. Um, I'm always available to, to talk. If you're not my client, would love to talk with you about what a long term ongoing relationship might look like. 303-747-6455. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye-bye.